When I was ordained a priest, uh, you know, seven or eight days ago, uh, oh, it was the most joyful night of my life. I was, I was really like overwhelmed with God's love. And uh, oh, it was just so special. And I had some people ask me, like, what happened to me? Because I was so joyful uh, in a cathedral that was pretty well entirely empty. There was just my four family members in the front pew. And first of all, it was a total gift from God. Like, usually 99% of the time I'm trying to be happy. But like, that was 1% of the time where I was just overwhelmed with God's love. And I just couldn't help but be happy. And so that was just so, so special. And this week has just been amazing. My life is like truly changed. Uh, and I've just been so overwhelmed throughout the whole week of God's love. And just so, uh, just so happy about what God has done in my life. Now, about a month ago, when the COVID restrictions happened and I found out that my ordination would only be 10 people total rather than uh, 50, Archbishop Miller called me and he said, I want to give you the option to discern and to possibly delay your ordination so that we could be sure that you could have at least 50 people. Because having 50 people is, is a lot different than 10. Like, there were some very close friends, family members, and priests who were a huge part of my journey that I had to tell them, no, you can't come to the most important event of my life. And that night, I had to lead a, a holy hour here from 6 to 7. And so Archbishop Miller told me to pray about it, take my time, and then let him know what I wanted to do. And I remember exposing the Blessed Sacrament and then sitting in the pew right here. And I was looking at the Blessed Sacrament. And then if you look across, you'll see an image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And so I started talking with Mary about this decision. I was like, what do I do? Uh, you know, this is the most important decision of my life. How am I, like, what, what should I do? Like, what? What would you have done? And today's gospel just came to life to me. It's like, okay, Mary was like all alone, and she had this enormous decision put to her. You know, she couldn't have any of like her family, friends um, around. There was no like, uh, you know, big celebration for this huge decision. But Mary... She's just, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. Like, Mary didn't really understand, say, fully what was going to take place in her life, but she's just, okay, I just trust that this is exactly what you want to happen in my life. It was as though God was proposing to Mary, and he's like, will you just, will you just give me your body? That's all I want. And Mary's just saying, here you go. And as we read, if you read in the Gospel of Luke, you'll see that immediately she goes to Elizabeth, and she's just bursting of joy. You know, this decision of just saying fully yes to God, like, all right, God, I just trust you fully. I just, I give you everything. I'm not holding anything back anymore. I give you it all. Wow, what happened to Mary? She was just, she went in haste. And even her words to other people, Elizabeth, like in her womb, even the baby in her womb leapt for joy at what happened in Mary's life. And so some people were like, okay, how do you get this joy? Because every single person here, like that's one of the, one of the top desires of our heart. We deeply desire joy. Like joy is happiness not dependent upon our situation. Like we crave to be happy that's not dependent upon COVID. Like my happiness is not dependent upon 
you know, the latest COVID restrictions or whether the numbers are up or down. Like we crave like a happiness that's like, that's from God. And like I said, like almost every single day, I don't have it and I wish I did. I, I crave it deep in my heart. I desire joy so much and I want it. And last Friday, I got it. And so what happened was, when I had this holy hour of adoration, I was looking at Mary and I was like, okay, Mary, this is how you did it. You just said, all right, all right, I trust you, God. This is exactly what you want to happen in my life. It's almost as though Mary's saying, from all eternity, God planned for this to happen. And so I realized in my own life, and I had this priest tell this to me, he said, I guess God from all eternity planned for you to be ordained during COVID. Isn't that an amazing thought? That God from all eternity planned for me to be ordained during COVID? Like I had all these ideas about a jam-packed cathedral, huge celebrations, just going all out. That was my idea. But if I just accept the simple fact that from all eternity, God planned for me to be ordained during COVID, Wow, it brings so much freedom to my heart. All of a sudden, it's like, I don't have to give any mental energy to like, oh, what's the latest COVID numbers? And like, why is this happening to me? What did I do wrong? No, I just, I don't even have to give any attention to that. Furthermore, I don't have to complain at all about COVID because God planned from all eternity for me to be ordained during COVID. I don't have to complain about it. I don't have to look at the numbers and feel depressed. No, God planned from all eternity for me to be ordained during COVID. And so all of a sudden it's like, wow, there's total freedom of my heart in my heart and I can just make the most of the decision. So it's like, oh, wow, how can I make the most of this special decision? So it gave me so much more clarity about why I was being ordained a priest. It provided with so many new perspectives about my vocation. All of a sudden, I was able to see so many more things of faith about this vocation to be a priest. And I had this peace in my heart that my happiness is not dependent upon COVID. That the greatest event of my life being ordained a priest, God planned for all eternity for me to be ordained during COVID. This is amazing news. That he planned this out. And he's going to give me the grace to say yes. And that's what we see happen in the life of Mary today. God gave her the grace to say, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me. And if you read in the original Greek, you say, this is not just like, oh, okay, I accept it. This is actually Mary saying, I desire this with my whole heart. There's nothing I want more than to say this full yes. She's saying like, she's bursting from the seams to say, yes, God, I want this so much for your will to be done in my life. This is exactly what I want. You know, Mary, I'm sure she had no idea that this would happen to her, but when the opportunity was presented to her, she's like, yes, that's what I want. And so, I mean, Mary is, is on a whole different level of relationship with me now since being ordained a priest, and she's such a source of inspiration. So that holy hour I had, Mary inspired me to just say, okay, here am I, God. I'm your servant. Let it be done to me. You chose for me to be ordained during COVID. And guess what? For every single person here, if you can believe in your heart that God made you to have a COVID Christmas, if you say, yes, God, you are giving me the grace to have this Christmas during COVID, you made me for this time. You planned for all eternity for me to have this Christmas during a time of COVID. To be all these things, all these good things to be removed from my life. You planned this all out. All of a sudden, if we can just make that huge act of faith, just one big act of faith, like, yes, God, this is exactly what you want. All of a sudden, we have peace. All of a sudden, we can see things with gratitude, with faith. And then guess what comes out of that? Joy. 
the joy that we all crave as a result of just that huge yes. So for me, God planned from all eternity for my first Christmas as a priest to be during COVID. And I say it with joy because I believe in God, that he can make all things good for those who love him. And as we said in the responsorial psalm, forever I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord. Forever. Not just when times are good. Forever includes COVID. I'm going to be singing of God's steadfast love, O Lord, all the time. And so I invite all of you to just make this huge yes. that I, I've been born for this time of COVID. I've been born for this Christmas. And if we can make that big act of faith, we can have joy. And as Mary went to Elizabeth to just share that joy, as I have been so privileged to do it during this entire week of sharing the joy of what God has done in my life, it can happen for you too. So it begins with this full yes. Yes, God, you have made me for this time. This is exactly where you have put me. If we can make that big yes, like Mary, we can have joy. And that joy will transform our Christmas. This is the, Mary gives us the game plan for joy during our COVID Christmas. So I invite all of you, as we enter into this Mass, let's just beg God for the grace to say yes. God, you have made me for this time. And trust, if we keep saying yes, joy will come. A joy that we all deeply desire, a joy that will come on Christmas Day.